In the ethereal realm of Mount Olympus, where the gods held sway, there lived a formidable deity named Kratos, the titan god of strength. Born to the titan palace and the primordial goddess Styx, Kratos possessed an indomitable spirit and a physique that surpassed even the mightiest of his kin. As a child, Kratos roamed the desolate landscapes of Tartarus, the underworld prison where his father was confined. Amidst the darkness and despair, he honed his strength and agility, becoming a formidable warrior. When the Titans rose against the Olympians in the Titanomachy, Kratos fought valiantly alongside his father and brothers. Despite their immense power, the Titans were ultimately defeated by the Olympians. Kratos, along with his siblings, was imprisoned in the depths of Tartarus, where he languished for centuries. However, his spirit remained unyielding, and he vowed to one day avenge his fallen kin. One fateful day, Zeus, the king of the gods, sought to release Kratos from his prison. He had heard whispers of a prophecy that foretold the rise of a powerful warrior who would challenge his rule. Intrigued, Zeus offered Kratos freedom in exchange for his service. Driven by a thirst for vengeance and a desire to prove his worth, Kratos accepted Zeus's offer. He emerged from Tartarus, his body scarred and his eyes blazing with an unquenchable fire. Zeus bestowed upon him the Blades of Chaos, twin blades forged in the fires of the underworld, which became his signature weapons. Kratos embarked on a perilous quest to hunt down and destroy the remaining titans. He traveled across the realms of Olympus, facing countless challenges and overcoming insurmountable odds. His strength and determination were unmatched, and he became a legend among both gods and mortals. As Kratos's power grew, so too did his arrogance. He began to question Zeus's authority and sought to usurp his throne. A fierce battle ensued between the two gods, each unleashing their full might. In the end, Kratos was defeated and cast back into Tartarus. Undeterred, Kratos escaped his prison once more and sought revenge against Zeus. He rallied an army of titans and mortals, and together they laid siege to Mount Olympus. The battle was epic and bloody, with both sides suffering heavy losses. In a final confrontation, Kratos faced Zeus in a duel that would determine the fate of the world. With a surge of his divine strength, Kratos struck Zeus down, ending his reign and becoming the new king of the gods. As the dust settled, Kratos stood alone on the summit of Mount Olympus. He had achieved his vengeance, but at a great cost. The war had left him weary and disillusioned. He realized that true power lay not in conquest or domination, but in compassion and understanding. And so, Kratos abdicated his throne and retreated into solitude. He wandered the realms, seeking redemption for his past actions. He became a protector of the innocent and a guide for those who had lost their way. And as the centuries passed, the legend of Kratos, the titan god of strength, lived on. He became a symbol of both the destructive and redemptive power that resides within all beings. And though his name was forever etched in the annals of history, his true legacy lay in the lessons he taught about the nature of power and the importance of compassion.